Hey sports fans, my day here continues at SFC. This is Bryson Hashimoto, although I said Bryson, everyone was kind of like, huh? Who? We call him Hashi. Uh, we call him the Cornhusker. We call him literally anything other than the name I was calling him a few minutes ago. He's a junior, junior shortstop here, and he's committed already to play at Nebraska. So a lot to unpack, but let's just talk right now about the season that you guys are having. It's been a you know, tough, one of the toughest schedules in the county, and you're hanging in there. You've been in and out of that top 10. What's it been like for you? Uh, it's been a really good season. All the guys have really gelled together. Um, we've all played really well. We're all playing for each other, and it's just having that team bond and just really helping each other out. Now, for you personally, you know, you're closing in on the end of junior year. You're looking forward to senior year. What's left to do? Where is the bar set for you personally while you're still here at SFC? Personally, uh, I want to win CIF. I want to get that ring. I want to win um, our league. Um, I just want our team to meet all the goals that we set at the beginning of the year. Now, one goal that almost every player sets is to go have the chance to play at the next level, and that is going to be a reality for you at Nebraska. So I got to ask, it's sunny, it's 70 outside, there is not a cloud in the sky, we're about two blocks from the beach. Nebraska is flat, it's cold, and you're nowhere near the beach. How on earth did you wind up choosing that school? Well, I mean, it's something out of my comfort zone. I've lived here all my life, and I want to try something different. Um, going out in the Midwest, freezing temperatures, you actually get to appreciate the seasons when you go over there, and when you come back, you appreciate the warm weather. So, But the baseball is a pretty nice opportunity also playing in a major conference like that. Yeah, it is. It's a really nice opportunity. you got good competition out there, and... Um, yeah, some good ball players. So walk us through what that experience was like getting that offer, because I'm assuming that most of us watching have not gotten a Division One offer to play baseball. So what was it like? Was it a phone call? Was it an email? Was it a letter? Did they send a carrier pigeon? How did they get in touch with you? <laughs> yeah, so like over the summer, I've been kind of in contact with them. And then towards the end of the summer, I got a call from the, the recruiting coach over there, and they offered me a scholarship and then invited me up there to take a visit. And then when I took the visit, um, came back, and then I accepted their the offer. Well, it's kind of nice because it's a red school. You're already a red school, so you don't have to be drastically yeah. changing colors in college. You know, for for your time here, though, is there something special? Because every baseball player is kind of a superstitious freak about it. You know, got to jump over the line, got to drink the same drink, same color Gatorade. Got any fun superstitions you can share with us? Not really. For There's me. no secret on earth whatsoever they, they, that's gotten you to that next level. Well, I mean, I just listen to music before. Okay, so what are you game. listening to? Um, I listen to country music. Really? Okay, so so, so share yeah. share with us a couple songs lately that have been that have been getting you ready for game time. Um, you know, like Cole Swindell. In case okay. you didn't know, oh, no, no, um, I know that song. Yeah, it's a nice song. It's a nice okay, song. Okay, very yeah. nice. That's one I've been listening to a lot. Okay, been been pumping that a little yeah. bit. Um. You fit in well with the baseball community. That's one of the things that I love about baseball players is they know how to you know, take it a little more easy, play that country. It's, you can always tell how baseball a team is by how many kids have that as their walk-up song. Yeah. So I like hearing that out of you guys. Just, I think, last question, you know, for a team like you guys that you're a small school, you don't have a huge baseball program in terms of a JV and a freshman team and 60 kids and all that, how much does that fuel you? Is that the chip on your shoulder? Or, or where does it all come from to motivate you guys to constantly be putting the pressure on those big teams? I mean, like, we, we don't view ourselves any different than any other big school out there. We feel ourselves like we still have the same opportunity as them, and it's our, it's our um, goal to, to take that and to run with it and just to just trust each other as a team. Well, that team is going to be coming for gosh darn near everybody in the county as they try and march their way to a CIF ring this year and next year with all the junior talent that they have. And I've been saying that he's a junior all day, so you can't fact check me on that one. Thank you very much for being on with us, and uh, we'll have to go uh, listen to some country and eat some corn. Yep. yep.